I mentioned it after the the Chino conference where you know some of you five years ago were fans of Sam Harris and then you were on the floor of the St. Andrews Church kissing a box full of relics and bones oh that's a big transition um, and and so when James Lindsay reacts to magic these are this is very old code that is being replayed and it was sort of like when when Sam uh, Sam came into the the corner and as a Unitarian and a bunch of people sort of reacted strongly it's sort of like those videos on YouTube where you take the cucumber and you you kind of slide it next to the cat and the cat jumps away Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Transfigured. <laughs> this, was, this was sort of built into them in terms of, oh, Trinity, attack or defend. Um, there's all this old, old code that's built into us that we don't even know it's there. And we, we don't even know we have taken this code on. And, you know, especially for someone like Mary Cohen, who made this transition from being a Jehovah Witness then into the Roman Catholic Church, became came from being a non-Trinitarian to a Trinitarian. And so she picked up a lot of this code and reacted to it. A lot of this stuff is rumbling around inside of us within these packets of code that we have taken in that have been transforming us, and it's moving around. And so underneath the surface, I think Jonathan is right, this is often the sense I've had with Jordan that he's got a foot on each on his foot on each side and they're moving away from each other. And part of what I saw in the Chris Williamson video is that increasingly he is making the transition to the new land. Increasingly he is making the transition into a new life, into a new perspective. And that doesn't mean it's divorced from what he did with Maps of Meaning, he very much was working on it with Maps of Meaning, and he's been working on it all along. But this transition is now further underway a couple of years after this video um, than it was obviously then, and definitely more so than, let's say, pre-first wave uh, uh, C-16 um, in the year 2016. That's changing the way, changing people transition through your work, transition from worlds, moving worlds. That's really what I've seen happen. It's more than just changing the way, changing your opinion or changing your mind about something. It really is about changing the world you inhabit. And so that's a, that's a crazy, that's a crazy role to play. And especially because, like I said, you, you have your foot, it's like you kind of have your one foot or one eye, let's say, looking towards I would call religion or looking towards Christianity or, or something like that. And then you have another eye, which is still very much immersed in a kind of secular humanism. And that hurts me just looking at it. And you have one leg that is, you know, you understand people that are more left-leaning, you understand people that are more right-leaning, you have this capacity to kind of understand everybody, but you're, yeah, it's, it's, uh, that means that you make enemies on, on all sides too. Well, you know, the overwhelming response... And, and it's not just understanding, it's the fact that he himself is making this transition. And again, what we've seen in the Chris Williamson video is the progress in this tradition. And the way transitions happen in people, so we can use the elephant and the rider, the Jonathan, Jonathan Haidt image. The, 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 it takes a while for the rider to get the words together to interpret what the elephant has been doing and this is what we've seen happening in peterson so so here chris williamson really starts to dig into a little bit more of jordan's new book what 
what would have to happen after the publishing of We Who Wrestle With God for you to look back on that publication and consider it a success? What is it that you want to happen? What do you want people to feel or to take away from that work? I think we're at the beginning of the counter-enlightenment. The, the propositions, the enlightenment view of man is wrong. And this, you know, out of the enlightenment view came science. But the science now indicates that the enlightenment view of man is wrong. What do you mean? Well, the enlightenment types believe that we could orient ourselves in the world, let's say empirically, that, and this is Sam Harris's proposition, you can abide by the facts. You can orient yourself as a consequence of the dispassionate analysis of the facts. Now, how is this germane? Of course, this is this is James Lindsay's proposition. This is James Lindsay against magic. And now the difficulty is that there's a lot tied to this. And even though underneath the ground is shifting, that makes people anxious about what's tied to it. It makes me anxious too, because as I've mentioned in many previous videos, a lot of what the world has enjoyed for the last couple of hundred years is an, is, has been a, a ceasefire in a lot of onto where warfare about ontology. I'll say it that way, that, secularity sort of covered everything up and said here let's just jordan peterson had a nice video a long time ago where he talked about the fact that the reason they make cars look the way they do is that cars are very complex inside side and people don't know much about the engine or anything like that so you make it a nice pretty color and you make it just look simple secularity did that and you have this world of facts, and if we can just stick to the facts, then we don't have to bother fighting about Christian dogma. You don't have blasphemy laws. You don't have all of these things. And you can, you know, it was it was the hope of having peace in the post-reformational context and things could be stable. And they have been. But that stability is breaking up. And it's breaking up for reasons that no one is going to stop. And even though uh, Pinker, Harris, Lindsay, many others want to keep putting the brakes on, it's not going to stop. And the way people are going to deal with this is they're going to jump back into legacy religions. 